My name is uh, Davide Pagano and I am a PhD student at the University of Pavia. Uh, actually, I am at the very end of my PhD since I will defend my thesis on next month. My work here in, is uh, based on high energy mu reconstruction and the search for Z prime decaying to mu spare. And what does this involve? Is it more software or hardware? Yes, my work is a software work, so uh, I spend all of my time on the software side of the experiment. And, but in the, in the past I did some work for the hardware, I mean, commissioning and so on, but my work is on the software side of the experiment. So what exactly have you been doing? What, what Are you looking for something or trying to prove something? Uh, we, are, we are looking for the Z prime, which is a new set of gauge bosons predicting some, some uh, beyond the standard models but uh, this is our goal but we are looking at uh, using the decaying channel to muons pair and uh, to do that we are we are we want to improve high energy more reconstruction and this is, was the first step and uh, we created a new algorithm able to handle high energy muon reconstruction better than the global muon reconstruction can do and we are using this new algo to, to see if there are improvements on the search of Z prime using the decay uh, channel, using the uh, mu pair decay channel. And is your whole group working on this, or are they, have they also been working on the hardware as well? Uh, yes, my, my, group, my, my group in Pavia mainly works on the, the hardware side of the experiment. They are involved in, in the RPC group. They tested the, the, the subdetectors, and so they are mainly uh, oriented to the other side of the experiment. So, what exactly did this work involve? Were they building something, or they they did the testing of the chambers, and they uh, developed some electronics for uh, for that subdetectors. And how long have they been working on it? They uh, several years, I guess, but I know. I don't know exactly the number of years they started working. And were they doing the work in Pavia or, or in here at CERN? No, I, mainly in Pavia, I, I, and, but uh, I come here very often, I guess half time of my total time I, I stay here. And what's the atmosphere like at CERN now that we have been? Uh, it's exciting. Um, Everything, everything is exciting for the beam, but uh, in my opinion, this first run are, are not interesting for um, for physics analysis. So I'm waiting for higher energy and the luminosity, and then I will be happy too. And you say that you'll be finishing your PhD in a month's time, and that you have a new postdoctoral. Um, yes. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you will be working on? I got a postdoc position at uh, the University of louvain la neve in Belgium and uh, I was lucky because I will go uh, on working on CMS and also on, on Z prime that was my uh, thesis subject so uh, I, I, will be, I will go to work, to work with the same persons I collaborated up to now and it was, it was a good so, um, how did you arrive at CERN, and how? What would be your advice to other young physicists wishing to work at CERN or at the University of Pavia? Uh, my my advice is to come here because I have very good experience, and uh, this is this is my advice. Uh, because sometimes uh, guys. Uh, don't like to come here because they prefer to stay at home. And because, but uh, my suggestion is to to come here because uh, it's it's incredible experience for for the future, I guess. And how does CERN and Switzerland and France compare to living in Italy? Uh, I I do see uh, big differences in the lifestyle here uh, or in Italy uh, because CERN is nicely placed. It's very close to Geneva. It is a very big town and it can offer you enjoy and fun and so on. But also life in Italy is very very good in my opinion. I come from Pavia, that is a small city, 
but uh, it can offer you a lot of uh, funny and uh, it's very close to Milan it is a very big city uh, the only disappointment uh, is the weather here because uh, it's uh, too cold for my taste and uh, rainy and cloudy uh, but but for the rest it's, it's good to stay here thank you ever so much for sharing your time and experience thank you.